you want to create content that looks professional, but you're not a designer? Or maybe you are one, but it's taking way too long to create graphics and templates and content. Then Adobe Express is the perfect tool for you. My name is Kate Silver and I'm an Adobe Express ambassador and top teacher on Skillshare. And today we're going to create a giveaway competition flyer using an existing quick and easy template in Adobe Express. And voila, let's get started. Okay guys, are you ready to start creating an amazing graphic with Adobe Express, which is really awesome and it's great for people that aren't even designers and it's just so easy to design something that looks great and feels great. So let's go. Now, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud membership, then you have access to this as well for free. And if you don't, feel free to access the link that I've added below. Okay, so let's keep going. So I'm just gonna scroll down and show you a couple of cool things about Adobe Express. So first of all, you have access to the most amazing templates because this is all up to Adobe standard and Adobe is just like the number one in anything creation and graphic design and video editing. So it's not surprising that the templates are as such as well. You would be able to browse all templates. Then if you scroll down, I love this. Not a designer, not a problem. And even me as a designer, some days I don't really feel like one. I don't feel very inspired. It's very gray in London or whatever, or I'm moody. So it's just so easy to take one of these templates. So anyway, enough talking and let's get to it. So I'm going to go and click on get Adobe Express free. And this is where you would sign up to your account, sign up or sign in, whichever makes sense for you. And this is the Adobe Express home, which is really cool and really simple, which I like. So you can create a logo or a flyer or any of these. And then if I go to projects, this is where I can see all the projects that I've worked on. Hello, me. But anyway, let's cut to the chase. I would straight away go to search all templates and I would write a template that makes sense for me. And because I'm looking to launch a competition, a giveaway competition for my Skillshare students to win one free year of Skillshare. Um, so I would just type giveaway competition and enter. And it's stunning. Adobe Express will give me all these stunning templates that are really nice. And honestly, I think they're the best that there are out there. Now you can also filter the topics further. You can say, oh, I just want giveaway. You can say, oh, let's do it just in pink. Because if you know me, you know, I love pink. You can make it an ad, etc., etc. You can also say, just show me the free stuff or the animated stuff. I personally love animated flyers. And if you don't want any of these, you can just untick. And there we go. You know what? I'm also going to add the word cosmic because I like cosmic stuff and I think it's cool and it's kind of trendy at the moment. So let's see what that gives me. This is actually pretty practical for my personal competition because there's a few steps involved. So this would be really easy to use. So I can click on that. Yeah, so it's pretty basic in terms of design, but it's pretty useful and that's what I need. Now, I've already noticed that this is not the format that I need. I think this is more like story or Pinterest format. So I'm instantly going to go to resize because I want to make it more for an Instagram post. And actually I can choose all the different formats that I would like to change it to, but let's see what it does if I select Instagram. And wow, that's cool. It automatically refitted everything. So it's exactly what I need. So awesome. So now if you click on templates, you still have the option to change your mind and pick another template. 
but I think I'm just gonna go with this for now. If I go to text, I can also add some text stuff. I can add some photos. And actually, I decided right now that maybe I'll add a photo as a background. Let's see if I add this. Click and drag. Maybe if I make it bigger. I click on layer order here and click on this one so that it moves to the bottom, very similarly to Photoshop or InDesign, which is cool. Now this is fun, but the image is a little bit too much. It overpowers the text. So I'm just going to add some filters. I can select add to background and I can zoom in, which is cool or zoom out. I can rotate it, which is also cool, but not really necessary. I can untick add to background and I can also make it more transparent if I want. And obviously it's going to be more purple because the background initially was purple. I can also add a filter where I can make it grayscale or multiply to make it more subtle. I can add an enhancement and as you can see, there's loads I can add to play with, but I actually don't want to use this because it's not really necessary for me. I do want to see what blur gives me because I think blurred images look quite good as a background. Okay, that was it. I can close this and I'm happy with my background. Now let's change everything else. To continue this tutorial and learn how to edit the icons, the colors, the text, saving, exporting, and so much more in Adobe Express, then click on the link below, this exact link, to access the full tutorial in Adobe Express on Skillshare, where you also get to access all my other in-depth graphic design courses, such as Beginner's Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. If you like this tutorial and you would like to learn some more in-depth graphic design, then check out my other courses that I teach, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe InDesign. And follow me for more updates on anything Adobe or graphic design. See you soon.